Hey guys, now in this video, let us discuss what if we get an exception in our error handling logic itself. So in this video, first let us understand what is silent failure and why it is bad. Then we will discuss that we have already written our error handling logic in our catch scope. But what if exception occurs in this catch scope itself? So to handle that, in this video, we will create Azure Monitor Alert Rule, which will get triggered when our logic app fails. And it will send an email to the developers. And thus, we will never have silent failure. And now, let us first understand what is this silent failure. So guys, silent failure. It means something has failed in our app and no exception or error is logged or we have not received any error alert as well so this is silent failure see guys failure or error or exception is not bad but the bad thing is such error has occurred and we are not even aware so i guess you can guess if we are not aware about the error there will be much more consequences right and so for every error within our application, we should be aware and we should receive at least an email notification. Now guys, we have this logic app, right? So here we have actions, right? And this is our try, try block. And then we have this catch scope or catch block, right? Now what we do in this catch block is, first we log the error details. We log the date later message in date later storage and then we send error email to the developers. So here we log error message, here we log failed message and then we set error details to the developer. But guys, what if exception occurred in this catch block itself? So yes, overall our logic app will show as failed and it will be reflected in run history of logic app as well. Yes, agreed. But guys, generally trust me, we don't always go to run history and check if something has been failed. Normally, we are not that much proactive. Okay, so in that case, what will happen is error has occurred and we are not even aware. So what we'll do is we will create an alert or monitor alert, which will get triggered whenever our logic app fails. So yes, ultimately we have this try block and we have this catch block to perform error handling but again error has occurred within this catch block itself right that means our logic app it will show as failed and hence this alert it will get triggered and now let's see it in action so guys we are in azure portal and this is our logic app if i go to logic app designer so again it is our schedule trigger and basically in this try score see we are trying to call an HTTP API which is not existing, right? So if I show you, see basically we are trying to call this API which is actually not existing, right? So obviously it fails and it goes to this catch scope. So first we generate error log that is exact error details why that error occurred. Then we log that error detail in blob. Then we generate failed message for storing in date later so that we can reprocess it later. And then we can store that failed message in our blob story. Great. Now let's make some change in this catch scope itself so that exception is thrown in this catch scope, right? So here I'll say add an action. I'll say HTTP. And again, I will try to call an API which is not existing. So as you can see, there is no such API. Right, so I'll say method get and basically that's it and I'll say save and if I run it and if I go to this run history and see it shows failed and can you see we have we have now got exception in this catch scope itself and so now you can see we have silent failure yes we have this run history available in in this run history and we can see it failed over here but then see no error log has been logged in storage account or we have not received any email alert right so that's the problem so now 
let's create alert rule which will be triggered whenever logic app fails now let's just close this so again we are in our logic app let's go down under monitoring i'll say alerts i'll say create alert rule i'll select signal runs fail that means it will get triggered when this logic app fails right and i will say check every minute and look back period is 5 minutes that is check for last 5 minutes right now i'll say next actions and here guys we have to select action groups so guys action group means when this alert is fired what exactly you need to do so basically we create action group and under that we can add an action let's say one action it will send an email to the developers second action it will send an sms to the developer or let's say when such error is thrown that is when this alert rule gets triggered we may invoke some azure function as well so that is also possible so basically for this we have to create action group now as in the interest of the time i have already created this action group that is my developers see this but how you can create this action group right so first you can click on this create action group from over here or you can go to this monitor alerts under that action groups and you can create it over here as well so basically you have to just give action group name then notification so basically what you want to do what you want to notify so for example i can say i want to notify through email and obviously then we have to provide the email id to which we want to notify then under this action group we can add actions as well so for example i can say okay action should be azure function right so we can select azure function which we want to trigger like that so again in the interest of the time i have already created this action group and i have this action group that is my developers and it sends an email to me only so let's just select this action group i'll say select and say next and now what should be the severity so i will say yes it is critical you have to give name so i'll say logic app rule 1 description and i'll say review plus create and i'll say create so we have successfully created our alert and now let's try to run our logic app again and now here i will say run so again it's been failed but now we may have to wait for a couple of minutes to receive this alert and guys if you see this i have received this alert email and see this it shows alert rule description and see it shows that resource id as well that is the logic app which failed so now whenever logic app fails we are always aware and now there is no silent failure so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening